Thanks to all of our sponsors for making our Computex 2024 coverage possible. Hey everyone, we're here with ID Cooling at Computex 2024 and they've got some really cool stuff to show us. They've gone with, well, gold. And you know what? Normally I'm not a massive fan of gold, but I actually really, really like this. So what we've got here is two coolers. They're part of the frozen GDL range. So what we've actually got is the A410, which is the slightly smaller one. And the naming structure is actually really, really simple. 410, 410. That means if we turn it over, you can actually see that it has four heat pipes and it has one tower. Four, one, zero, easy. Comes with two fans on there, two 120 mil fans. Uh, you can see it's got the gold strips on there, the frozen branding. Actually looks really, really nice. The black and the gold just kind of works really, really well together. Then if you want something a little bit, you know, beefier, then we have this one, which is the A620. Now, as the name suggests, six means it has six heat pipes that you can see here. It's, it's a lot, lot beefier compared to the smaller one. Uh, it's also two towers, hence the two. Again, we've got the gold and the frozen branding on there. And these, I mean, I can't even really understand how they're managing to make these so cheap. What we've got with the A410 is a price that's gonna come in below $40. And then with the A620, you're looking at around $50. So you're actually getting a lot more cooler for not much more money. Now, in terms of TDPs, depending on the processor that you're, you're using and things like that, this smaller one is gonna support uh, TDP processors up to 230 watts, while this one, 260 watts. So you're gonna be fine with an i9 14900K. But if you don't want air cooling, things get a little bit more interesting inside this case here. So what we've actually got here, you can see sticking with the kind of gold theme, they've got a gold graphics card in here, the gold fans with the gold screws. But what you actually notice more than anything inside this system is this beast right here. This is the Hunter GDL. So it still forms part of the GDL series. This one's a lot more interesting because it's actually got two radiators. You can see we have four uh, tubes coming out of here, two going up to this radiator up here and two coming down to that one. I'm not gonna lie and say it's gonna be the easiest thing to install because frankly, it's not going to be easy if you've gotta mount one radiator somewhere, mount another radiator somewhere and hold the block and screw it down. Now it is still in kind of early prototype stage with the air coolers, we are looking around September. This is possibly, possibly gonna be closer towards kind of Christmas time. Now the really interesting thing with this is I think it looks great, but when you turn it on, it looks even better. So if I flick this switch here, and turn that on, it lights up. And I wasn't actually expecting that, but I think you're all agreed that that looks absolutely amazing. So in terms of the rads, two 360 mil radiators, and we were actually talking with ID Cooling about, could you potentially use this in a zero fanless mode? If you had you know, all your fan curves and everything set correctly, in theory, if you're just gonna be sitting in a desktop or even just doing any kind of light work, you've got so much surface area, thanks to the radiators, that in theory, you should be able to use this completely passively for a short sort of space of time. So I don't know, maybe that's something that we're gonna to have to kind of you know, check out, something that we're gonna to have to test, but this will actually handle processors up to 400 watt TDP. So you've got no problem with an i9 14900K, fully overclocked. You could really actually push things to the limits with something like this. So yeah, Hunter GDL, and then we've got the Frozen GDL series. I'm actually really, really looking forward to this one and seeing exactly what it can do when we get it on our bench. We actually like the Hunter GDL so much that we ended up giving it our Best of Computex Award. So there we have it. This is uh, the first video of many from ID Cooling, so uh, be sure to check out the rest of them at Computex 2024. I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.